Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Grykowski, creator of the Better Brain Blueprint. Today we're talking about a thing called neurotransmitters. That means something that transmits the, the nerve response. Anything that happens in our body is about energy and information. So there's an energy, an electrical flow that flows along the nervous system. So this electrical current has to get to a point. When it gets to a bridge, then it has to have a chemical transfer. That's where the information takes place. Think of it as like unlocking with a key. So there are different brain transmitters, different neurotransmitters. What a lot of people don't realize is that most of the neurotransmitters, especially serotonin, which is one of our most for reducing uh, depression, it's like these neurotransmitters cannot cross this, this barrier or either it's too low or it's too high or they just can't actually um, uptake into the nervous system. But most of the neurotransmitters they say more than 90% of serotonin is made in the gut. So today we're talking about how our gut health affects our brain with our neurotransmitters. The things that will affect serotonin levels in our gut are not having a good microflora, a good um, bacteria in the digestive tract. So what will affect that? If you have had uh, a series of antibiotics, this is like killing off all the normal bacteria in your gut. So you're not making the appropriate uh, uh, bacteria, uh, are not making the appropriate processes that allow our gut to make neurotransmitters. There's about five different layers to the gut that actually allow this process to take place. But what I want you to realize, if your gut health is not healthy, your brain health is not healthy. So what do we see in today's society? 1% of the world 1% of the world on a daily basis is eating McDonald's. When I saw that statistic, I went, oh my gosh. Now, there are w parts of the world that don't have McDonald's, so what does that mean in the United States? It means that we are eating fast food. They say that more than 10% of a family's meal is eat eating at a fast food restaurant, a drive through So when you think about that, and you think about how many other meals are actually just eaten out, and maybe how we are not getting the appropriate uh, energy and information in our body to make a good healthy gut. So what affects it? Trans fats affects the ability of these neurotransmitters to actually cross the uh, nerve synapse. If we look at pesticides and we look at even genetically modified foods where they've actually injected the pesticide into the cell of the foods we're eating, genetically modified foods are affecting you're getting the pesticides even if you're actually washing the, the actual fruits and vegetables. If we look at uh, the process of things in the air, things we're breathing, different uh, metals, aluminum, lead, mercury, if we're getting those through injections, all of those things are affecting our nerve transmitters. It's actually creating more of a problem. It's creating a problem with our overall health where we are now having millions, tens of millions of people on antidepressant medication. We have to step back, we have to look at our eating process. As part of the team, the, the Better Brain uh, Academy, we look at our thinking, our eating, our actions, and our movements. So as part of a team, we've got to think differently. We've got to think about what we are doing as far as eating or not eating. Are we putting a lot of sugars into our diet? Are we putting a lot of, of artificial sweeteners? That also affects our gut health. So we have to get back to really what is more naturally based, <clears throat> create a normal healthy bacteria in the digestive tract. There are a lot of ways to do that, whether it be certain types of fermented foods, fermented vegetables, to uh, different types of, of uh, products that have <clears throat> these uh, bacteria to reintroduce back into our gut. The challenge with uh, uh, colon disease, the challenge with our brain transmitters, the challenge with um, gluten in our diet, which affects irritable bowel, which affects a whole bunch of other aspects. So we've got to look at reducing gluten, reducing trans fats, reducing high fructose corn syrup, which is concentrated sugars, reducing sugars in our diet, because it's affecting our gut, which is affecting our brain. If your memory is affected, if your focus is off, if you feel like you're gaining weight, it's because our gut health is not healthy. So make a difference today. Look at some of our other, other uh, videos that talk more in details as far as what you should supplement and what you should actually pull out of your diet. Start with your gut health. This affects your brain transmitters, 
on a much higher level so it affects your brain in the long term. This is another Better Brain tip from Dr. Bob. Have an awesome week.